You've learned a lot about magnetism in your recent science lessons. Let's put that knowledge into action and try an experiment. We're going to examine the magnetic field of two bar magnets, so we can then compare it to the single bar magnet you've already studied. Here you can see the supplies we will need. Two bar magnets, iron filings, a sheet of cardstock, tape, and a tray or cutting board. First, we'll tape this bar magnet to the cutting board. Now, let's try to get the second bar magnet as close as we can, with the north poles facing each other, and then tape it down as well. We should only have a small gap, just like this. We'll take the cardstock and place it over both magnets. Now we'll take the iron filings and sprinkle a very fine layer over the paper. Can you see this design that it made? That's incredible how the magnetic field directs the iron filings. Pause this video, turn to the Lesson 11 extension in your student journal and draw this design. Make sure to label it like poles. Okay, let's see what happens when we change things up a bit. I'll dump off the iron filings and then untape this magnet and turn it around so that its south pole is next to the other magnet's north pole. We want them to be very close, but not touch. Do you see the gap? Let's put the cardstock back over both magnets. Now, sprinkle a very fine layer of the iron filings. Do you see how this time the design is different? Pause the video and take a minute to observe and then draw this new design in your student journal. Add the label, Opposite Poles. What do you think caused the difference between the two designs? We know that like poles repel and the opposite poles attract. The iron filings show this as they align themselves with the magnetic fields. Now, look back at the single bar magnet image in the course book. How are these designs with the two bar magnets different? When the iron filings are sprinkled over only one bar magnet, they align with the magnetic field of the magnet. However, when you add another bar magnet, the two magnetic forces interact, changing the dynamics of the magnetic field. This is what we just saw.